Hello and welcome to my Cypress video tutorial series. Wow, that was hard. So in this video, we're going to install Cypress and we're going to create a really, really simple script and we're going to run it. So if you don't know anything about Cypress, you can come to this website and play this video. It will show, show, showcase, you know, all the um, important features. But basically it's a um, tool that can automate web applications. So enough talking, let's get started. First thing you will need is Node.js because Cypress is a Node.js application and you're going to need, well, um, well, let's say, um, I'm going to use Yarn PKG for this video. It's a Node.js package manager, just like NPM, but it's a little bit faster than NPM. So I'm using this one. So the installation, um, installation instructions are hidden in the website. So click on this uh, URL and click on this yarn, uh, install the yarn button, then select the operating system that will give you the installer or the instructions to install it. Now, once you've got them installed, you should be able to run node version like this, then the same way you should be able to run yarn. So I got them in my system. Now I'm going to navigate into my workspace that uh, this is where I keep my projects and I'm going to create a directory called Cypress. So now we can initialize our project. Um, well, um, you know, you know what? I'm going to run the VS code first and I'm going to open that folder, go to open folder, then project the Cypress. Right now it's empty, you can see. So first time, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize my yarn project. So run yarn in it. This will ask for, you know, basic details. I'm going to use default values for them. And in the end, it's going to degenerate this package.json file. Okay, now we got this stuff, you know, these details in it. Now I'm going to initialize a git repository. You know, git is always helpful. Git in it. If you don't know what git is, you probably should check that out. And in order to run git, you need to install it, uh, you know, obviously. Okay, now I'm going to install Cypress. Run yarn add Cypress. That's a one package. That package contains, you know, all the, um, automation frameworks and assertion libraries and you know the runtime cypress runtime okay now we got this stuff this directory contains all the dependencies we don't need that to need that to be included in the git repository so we will ignore that um, in a second and we got yarn lock file we need to include this in the project and in package.json file, we got Cypress as a uh, dependency now. Cool. As I said, I'm going to ignore this Node.js modules um, um, directory. Create a new file called dot git ignore. Inside there, I include node underscore modules. Okay, now run git status. Now Git has ignored this uh, node underscore modules directory. That's good. Now let's commit everything. Git add, git commit slash m. So I use this syntax to all my projects. Init project. Cool, now we got our Git repository configured. Now I think we can run Cypress. I'll run yarn Cypress. It's going to run the binary inside this node modules bin directory, this one. This is a symbolic link, by the way. Run that. So we got these commands with Cypress. In this video, I'm going to run open. That will open up a GUI window. Yarn Cypress open. So the uh, 
So the first time you're going to run that command, it's going to create this directory Cypress and it's going to, you know, generate some example is scripts we can use, we can run. By the way, we got, you know, bunch of directories, but in this video, we are going to focus on this integration directory. And I know I don't need all these scripts, so I'm going to copy one file directly into integration and I'm going to delete examples directly. Wow, I just deleted the whole. Okay, let me let me run it again. Hopefully it will generate it again. Okay, now let's copy that one file and let's delete this examples directory. Cool. For some reason, it's not updated in GUI. So let's run it again. All right. Now we got only one script. You can click on this to run the script and you can select the browser here. I'm using Chromium. So when I click on this one, it's going to open up a browser window like this and it will execute it. It will start executing. Uh, so I don't want to run an existing script. I will stop this and let's go back. So we are going to create a new script. Right click on this integration directory, create new file. I'll call this Google search spec.js now the first thing is to um, copy this line I'll copy this line to the new file so it, it will basically say you know so you know this is a JavaScript file right so Java, JavaScript does not usually have you know all the type features from TypeScript but we can um, use this reference to you know include all the uh, language features from this package you know so when i type cy dot it's going to you know pop up all the possible methods and properties from that um, object okay now um, let's describe our test i use i will use this describe method I'm going to pass the description google search and it's going to take anonymous function now i'm de describing my test it should um search the c a r c h the given value now again it's going to take an anonymous function inside here i can um describe my test Okay, the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to set my resolution by default. It's messed up. So I'm using CY object. You can see the description global variable CY added by Cypress with all API commands. So uh, Cypress is exposing all their APIs through this object. And I'm going to use viewport method to set my viewport. I don't know what my resolution is nine um, something 16 by 9 so yeah this is the one I'm going to pass them with them as two parameters then let's navigate into the website visit then pass the URL I'm going to go to Google then copy the URL like that now we are in the website now we need to search so in order to search we have to type something on this um, input uh, tag now let's capture that first before typing I'm going to use this name tag and by the way um, we are going to use CSS uh, selectors because by default cypress does not support export so we are stuck with uh, css paths and you know all the uh, 
all the APIs from jQuery to select elements. See by get, we will use get to um, get an element, you know, search an element within our DOM. And I'm going to pass the CSS selector. I'm going to wrap this in square brackets. Then I'm going to fire an action. I'm going to fire type action. Let's type iPhone. We're going to Google the word iPhone. Then I'm going to click on this button. So the so there is a nice feature where we can um, basically pass the visible text to Cypress and it's going to you know basically um, capture that element using that visible text. So first I will copy this Google search. So when I say visible text, it doesn't mean it should uh, necessarily visible to the user. So let's say so. In this button the visible text is google search right but it does not need to be visible to the user let's say uh, some element uh, an element covering this button so in that case this google search is not visible to the user but it's, it's the visible text in that element so i think we, you get what i'm saying So see why contains, I'm going to use contains to search it by visible text and I'm going to click on it. I'm not going to include all the assertions and stuff. Let's just run this one. I'll go back to my GUI and I'm going to click on this to run it. And it will open up this video. Sorry, what video? I mean browser. So you see, it typed the word iPhone and clicked on that button. So here you go, this is our first script. Um, so there are so many things to talk about Cypress and I cannot cover everything in one video. So uh, see you in future videos. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.